Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about top command. Whether you are a developer, you are DevOps, whether you are in TechOps, in NOC, whatsoever team you are, wherever you are working, you are a developer, maybe you are a tester or whatever is your profile. But if you are associated with Linux operating system somehow, so you should know this command. But before that, let us check some basic request of this, like what all uh, we are, where we are working. So first of all, let us check the version of your operating system. It means so this is the command cat. It must to read any file. ETC Red Hat release. So we are working with Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server release 7.5. Then after, let us check memory of this operating system. So we have somewhere one GB of RAM. Then after if we want to check that how many users are logged into you so you can use w command for this we will share we will definitely go through these commands in detail for sure with, with within upcoming videos but for now just see that how many commands do we need to run just to get these output if you want to check that how long it's been your server is up and running so you can reuse uptime command fine so it's only 14 minutes since my server is up and running then after if you want to talk about uh, that who is doing what so you can use w command and after that if you want to check that how many cpus you have so slash e, slash proc slash cpu info is a particular file which will let you know about all the details of this operating system cpu fine so rather than running these many commands we should run top command this is the best command which uh, is utilized but make sure if you have really high load on your server so you are never recommended to run this command you are supposed to see c less cpu less okay, okay let me tell you if you face high load on your server you are never supposed to run top command because it is resource oriented it means it will definitely utilize some resources during that moment so you can go for this file slash proc slash load average so this is the file which lets you know about your lo about load average of your server fine so slash cat uh, cat slash proc slash load average is the file where your all the statics are available related to your load fine in fact if you want to talk about top command so top command also fetches detail from that file itself top command is such a utility which fetches detail from multiple files and made it uh, makes it human readable human uh, like a normal human can understand that stuff okay so top command this is showing the particular time this is showing up time that how long your system has been running how many users are logged in currently so one user is logged in your load average load average means the first section says load average of, of one minute this says for five minutes and this says for 15 minutes okay fine why this is like this to this say this is the statics of your load average do you need to worry about your load or not it means if here you see one here you see five and here you here you see uh, for example eight it means your load average is coming down because on an average load average was eight for last 15 minutes it is 15 it is like uh, something here or something here it means whether you can have an idea whether your load is currently increasing or it is coming down same here if you see load average here is 5 here is 7 and here is 18 it means you need to worry about your load that your load is, is still increasing fine so this is uh, this is your load average so you can get statics of your load average that what, what is performance of your system currently okay number of total tasks running on this operating system so currently we have 80 task running two are running and 77 are sleeping one is stopped fine one uh, zero zombie so what is this running means currently you have like i have run top command here so that is showing as running and uh, obviously this is r status it means my top command so s means state this is status okay we will discuss later on 77 sleeping one is stopped and zero zombie I have stopped one process here how to check that how many processes are stopped we will see right away then zero zombie what is zombie process 
when you start any process so it is uh, it can it can create some child threads wherein these also have some process ids so if parent process is killed before child process fine so those child process become zombie these resources are still taking resource on your operating system but are not performing anything because obviously this can be called for any resource or any any services by end process which has been already killed fine now if you want to check number of total cpus how many cpus you have so you have to press one yet one numeric key will have to press so you will see number of total cpus so currently i have only one so counting starts with zero so currently you have only one cpu so you see here zero count if there were two so zero and one zero means one one means two it means total accounting starts with zero so if we have only one cpu so it starts with zero fine now what is us it means user to the amount of cpu in percentage used by user process it means how many how many types how many processes are running which are using cpu so it's with the percentage that user process are uh, running then this is system process that how much amount of your cpu used by system generated process and i it means nice nice means the priority is there any process which has been prioritized by you that this process should be given this much preference on the system so if you are running such a process so it will show here then after cpu ideal id means ideal how much amount of cpu is currently idle as we see currently zero percent is being used so rest is idle waiting is there any process which is which is waiting for any io operations to take place on your operating system so this is for io then after high high means hardware interrupts is any hardware interrupt available which is which is utilizing a resource if something is going on on your hardware let us say you are pressing control c and something other signals you are sending to your operating system so these are known as hardware interrupts it means you are killing your process not by uh, not by itself process is not getting completed itself but you are doing some operation with that so these are known as hardware interrupts in the same manner si means your first uh, system interrupts then after estimates if you want to go further for these details so you can read main pages of it and st it means you need not to worry about if you are running your virtual machine obviously then you need to think of if you are running your hardware you are working on real os you are working on physical machine you need to worry about what does it mean the amount of process the amount of time which has been consumed by your virtual machines hypervisor if you are running a virtual machine so you should be using one hypervisor hypervisor behind that so how much time is taken from one virtual machine which is your base machine which sorry which is your which is your uh, virtual machine and the hypervisor which is uh, allowing you to communicate with your physical resource so if if that is taking some time and you are working with virtual machine you, so you need to worry about it. you will have to fine tune your virtualization mechanism fine then after keep memory in kb so if you want to see that am total amount of memory available so this was in bytes then after total available total free total used buffer cache let us understand this this is total amount of memory this is free now this is used as this operating system is running okay fine so as this particular operating system is running so for starting all this process some amount of ram is consumed here this is used for buffer and cache for example if i'm you if i'm running any command so first of all that has to be load on on ram so this particular <coughs> amount of ram can be used by other resources but currently this is in buffer now available total memory so this amount of ram can be used by other upcoming processes this is known as available fine so now pid whenever you start any process so it has one pid it means process id then after user who is owner of that process as we see here post fake to ec2 and dbus uh, root and rest of process we see here so who is who initiated that process so that is it it means number of users you can check here now pr 
it means priority of that particular process that is by default 20 and I, it means whether you have reinitiated the process or you can say that you have defined priority for that process that is for nice value now VIRD it means virtual memory virtual memory utilized by your uh, processor that how many bytes the particular process is taking currently resources it means actual amount of memory being used by this process and that is not swap swappable if that process has started itself so this amount of RAM will never be left for other processes be uh, because this is reserved you can say or you can say like uh, this memory is not swappable so this amount of RAM definitely will be used by tuned command fine this is shared that this amount of RAM is shared it means there are there may be some library files loaded on the RAM so this particular amount of RAM can be shared by other resources as well this is status of your command whether you do your command is running or stopped see here we see that top command is in R state it means this is running currently rest of are sleeping as means sleeping amount of used by amount of used by RAM by this particular by command these commands so currently these are in idle state so these are not utilizing a CPU so after that mem percentage mem it means amount of to total amount of RAM utilized by this particular single process so 1.7 GB out of 1 GB is used by this particular process if you want to check that what all are process which are utilizing high memory so you will have to press capital M here if you press capital M so you will see that all the process which which are listed here these are from top to bottom in term of memory utilization fine if you want to check that what all processes are there which are utilizing maximum amount of CPU see this statics has been changed so currently you are seeing that what all processes are there which are utilizing maximum CPU if you press control sorry if you press capital P here shift, uh, shift P you can call it fine now if you want to say that I want to check all the processes which are running by any specific user so what you can do is you can run U here uh, if you press U so you will be uh, given one prompt to write your username for example I am going to write EC2 hyphen user because I am running I am working on like AWS environment so this will show you that all the commands which are used by this particular EC2 user if I want to check the particular argument of this command so I can press just simple C here if I press C it means command line argument will be displayed here if I press once again C so this, this will be hidden fine so this is particular your top command now what else you can perform with top command let us understand try to understand that okay so if you want to know that what all okay this can be made some made fancy as well if you want to check so if you press Z here so this will become colorful it will show you only highlighted if you press B here so it will make your process in bold characters so th there is no additional advantage of it but definitely you can have some fancy look if you press capital A so it will segregate like uh, if you want to talk about data if you want to talk about rest of features of a specific command so you can segregate this using a command what if you want to get some help using this so you can press just H here if you press H so this page will be displayed and here you can check all the stuff fine so that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching we will definitely explore some more commands within upcoming videos if you if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much